It's important to use site canvases throughout your design whenever you have something that repeats across multiple pages. This helps users have the ability to go and edit the site canvas and then it'll update in every location that's been used within your design. For example, in the sites, the navigation should be a site canvas. You can see here that it's got the diagonal lines through it, which denotes it as a site canvas. And it also has this site canvas and edit option right here. When you edit, it opens up just the site canvas that, that you are editing. And if you make a change, such as maybe a link changes, then that change would be applied to all locations that this site canvas is used. So for example, the about page uses the site canvas. So do the blog templates also use that same navigation site canvas. You can see on the bottom left here, we have site canvases listed. So you can create um, as many site canvases as you need for your design. Again, it's intended to be used whenever you have something repeating. So for example, uh, navigation. So here's the mobile navigation and mobile menu, footer. And um, if you have additional footer related things, a main menu and also other places that um, it might be used as maybe a contact form that's repeated across multiple pages of your design or a social um, Instagram feed type of canvas that is used at the bottom of maybe every page of your design. Uh, those are great examples of uses of site canvases. And to add a site canvas to a page, you simply go to the page, click the little dots next to the page name, and then you would say add new canvas, and you'll find that your site canvases are listed here at the very top. And so for example, I can add in my menu. It'll be added to the very bottom down here. And then you can obviously drag them up into place wherever you might it might be needed. In this case, I don't need two menus, so I'll delete that. But that's how easy it is to add a site canvas to your design.